Xavier, I wonder if you could just give us a quick uh, two, three minutes lesson in how do you make a star go fast? Ah, so it's uh, a nice trick. Uh, this lady is uh, quite delicate. The water lines are designed quite uh, straight. So the balance of the boat is uh, difficult to find. Uh, so the key is to find the balance between the hull shape, the position, the hull shape, the shape cell also, and then to have the less helm as possible and get the maximum power. So for that we have some trims like uh, Cunningham, Vang, main sheet, and we can also adjust uh, the shrouds to bend more or less the mast and to, to find the balance. So we can show you a little bit going upwind. C'est bon Pierre? Ouais. Allez, c'est parti le pape. So, the key is uh, to put some power against the, the sails and then you find the balance of the boat. The helm, if it's too much, you just reduce a little bit the, the power using a uh, auto. Okay, that's much better. The check stay, like this. And then you hike as much as you can. And we surely have to tack now. <laughs> <laughs> because of the reef. Yeah. Okay, you can back, I'll stay where I am. Uh, nice you can try, yeah, nice and slow. Yeah. Let's go. So to go faster than the other, you need to get as much as power as you can from the sail and then transmit all this power through the hull and we are also there to transmit all the weight we can so hiking and adjusting when we are sailing upwind during the upwind mostly we use the, the two uh, backstay lower and uh, upper and lower so and depending the wind, if you see like this, the wind is coming up. I'm releasing a bit, get the sail flatter, and uh, it can have more more wind spin inside. Huh. So, and everything else is uh, very classic. You drive the boat through the waves. Okay, more wind. And you can see, maybe you can have a look to the sail. So we are using the, all the place the sail is flapping to know how much power it is. And we can adjust to have less flaps, more open leach, and go higher without giving too much the speed. Xavier, it's a, it's a huge mainsail, a very large uh, <laughs> mainsail on this thing, and a very, very low boom. You can see right there. And it's, uh, there's not a lot of space to get under there. No. Nope. Very long, large boom. So quite a lot of power generated by this mainsail. Huh? Definitely. It's why we have to sail really near the wind. So we are 25, 27 apparent wind. And we drift a little bit, maybe you see the, from the... So we are 30, 32 from the wind. So it's the only option we have to... have not overpowered all the time. And lastly, just your crew position there. You are hiked right out. Uh, yeah, Alexis, <laughs> Alexis is, uh, is uh, back. <laughs> and, uh, this is hard work, guys. Hard work. Well, yeah, you see. <laughs> So another tack because uh, woo, 
Not much water there. Ok, dans trois longueurs. Deux. Un. C'est parti. Oh! <sighs> 